Um, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, dear. Hi. Guys, can you hear me? Me logran escuchar. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. That's really good to hear. All right, so uh, welcome everybody. Uh, good evening, guys. Thanks a lot for joining. I'm super glad to see you. Um, give me just a moment. So good evening, Mauricio. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you for joining. I see Jorge. Good evening. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Hector. So good evening, guys. Gracias por acompañarnos. Hi, good evening. All right, everybody. So thanks a lot. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, welcome to today's session. Welcome to basic number five. Bienvenidos a básico número cinco, guys. Me alegra muchísimo verlos por acá. And gracias por las camaritas. Good evening, good evening. Hey, guys, solamente me regalan confirmación. Me estoy cortando. Am I breaking? Se me escucha la voz cortada. Sí, teacher, se le escucha un poco cortada. Guys, me estoy cortando para los demás también. Me escucho robotizada. Un poco. Ok, tengo un, un poco. poco. Porque los estoy escuchando un poquito mal. Ok, mejoró. Todavía me escuchan cortada. Por el momento está bien. Ok, so Mauricio me escucha bien. Sí. All right. Guys, what about the rest? ¿Me escuchan cortado? ¿Is my voice breaking? Ahorita no, ya se escucha mejor. Ok, really weird. Ok, un momento. Ok, I'm going to, uh, me voy a conectar igual con el otro dispositivo because I don't know what's going on, pero se supone que mi internet está bien, so I'm not quite sure, solo que escucho algunos un poco cortados there. Ok. 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 Ok, just in case I'm gonna like, you know, connect with my phone too. Um, ok, guys, so, good evening. Si en algún momento escuchamos, eh, me escuchan que me estoy quebrando, que la voz se me está um, cortando, right? Como robotizando, let me know para ver de qué manera me conecto con los datos or something else. Uh, I'm sorry, la voz me la van a escuchar cortada porque tengo um, un proceso viral por ahí. <ríe> so, no es que sea mi internet, sino que mi voz realmente está cortada. But, eh, pero aparte de eso, si es robotizada, let me know, please, because um, eso sí sería el internet. That would be the internet as well. So, uh, gracias por las camaritas, guys. Thank you so much for your camera. Solo le voy a pedir que me ayuden con sus nombres completos, please, para propósitos de, gra de grabación. Um, no sé si saben cambiar su nombre. And uh, si no, let me tell you really quick. Vamos a participantes. En, nos posicionamos sobre su nombre y van a aparecer tres puntitos. Vamos a la última opción que dice cambiar nombre. Word, vayan sobre su pantalla, vayan donde ustedes aparecen. Ahí les, les aparecen los tres puntitos again. Le damos clic, vamos a la última opción again que dice cambiar nombre o renombrar. O si lo tienen en inglés les aparece como redeem. So, um, veo el nombre de Suyapa. Thank you so much. Jorge, I see your full name. Georgina, too. Lady, too. Um, so, gracias, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Hector, si me ayuda con su nombre completo, please. Damaris, as well. And Abigail, as well. Um, Abigail, una preguntita rapidito. Um, usted está inscrita en el módulo. Or... Um, porque la veo como oyente. No sé si está inscrita para que le quitemos la palabra oyente. Sí, estoy inscrita, solamente que ahorita voy todavía en camino a, a mi casa. Ah, ok, got it. Ah, Vaya, no se preocupe. Pero nomás llegar yo le quito lo de oyente. 
please, yes, please. Um, yeah, because um, si algún momento, guys, necesitan, um, están en proceso, you're on your way home, or something like that, um, me lo escriben solamente en el chat acá, chat privado, or write it in the chat, like, ya me voy a conectar, para que no le pongamos oyente, right, in the station, solamente para recordarme that you're gonna uh, be okay. just a listener for a moment. But thank you so much, Abigail. I appreciate it. Eh, gracias por conectarse. Yo sé que you're on your way home y espero que llegue super bien. I just hope you get there um, safe and sound. Um, okay, okay, Hector, that's okay. So we'll wait for you. Cuando esté listo, no worries. Um, already, creería que faltan más, right? For some reason, I'm unable to access the group, but I hope. No, todavía no me he cargado. Okay. Okay, guys, um, so good evening, everybody, again. <laughs> um, I'm super glad um, to be with you in basic number five. My name is Julia Sarceño. You can call me Miss Julie. You can call me teacher. You can call me Miss. I'm super okay with all of those. And I'm super glad to be with you in basic number five. Um, so let me just take a look. Me imagino que faltan varios, dos, cuatro, seis, ocho, diez, once, porque no veo a los demás. Ok. Oh, all right. Creería que we got some people on the waiting list right there. Okay, I'm sorry guys, eh, for some reason, me parece como en la lista, en la sala de espera, ya voy a mo pedir la modificación, right? Para que entremos de forma directa. So, um, good evening, good, good evening guys, good evening as Ezekiel, great to see you. Lady, thank you for the camera. Uh, Georgina, thank you for the camera too. And uh, Noe, good evening, how you doing? So, oh, I like it, really nice. I really like to see your cameras. Okay, guys, so, um, okay, let me just mention a couple of things del basic five. I know that, eh, sé que hasta este punto se comunican, you communicate yourself, you communicate ideas. Um, so, ya pueden utilizar simple past tenses, pueden hablar de ustedes, pueden describir um, un par de cosas, the details and things like those. So let's comment the way I like to work. A pesar que somos eh, un grupo en línea, eh, les agradezco enormemente por las camaritas, because es la forma directa que tenemos de comunicación, right? And uh, um, no es lo mismo ver a los compañeros que están moviéndose de verde, um, o saber si ya se me fueron a dormir, you know, si alguien se me quedó dormido, si ya no está, si no está. So, um, or the, sometimes, no sé si les ha pasado que le hablan a alguien y nos sentimos como que nos han dejado en visto. So, guys, en medida de lo posible, please, activemos la camarita para saber que están ahí. Si por alguna razón se levantan, um, so o están cenando, o you go to get some water, o algo que atender rapidito, me pueden escribir en el chat eh, BRB, um, que es como be right back, ya, yeah? o ya regreso. So just to make sure that, ok, no están ahí, in case I call you, no es que se hayan ido a dormir, solamente no están por un momento, right? And I'm going to totally understand that. Um, I really like, guys, um, son nuestros cursos, Están diseñados para ustedes. These courses are just for you. So, honestly, yo hablo lo menos posible. I speak the least I can para darles la oportunidad que ustedes hablen, right? So, you practice, you speak, you give us your ideas, you tell us what you feel, what you think, etc. So, um, va a ser pretty much bastante para ustedes. Eh, I'm going to be asking you to participate, to get in pairs, to recall vocabulary. Eh, solamente les voy a pedir estar super, um, participar activamente. Um, sin pena, guys, sin miedo. Uh, si se equivocan, está bien. Um, si no se recuerdan de algo, está bien. 
Um, y si no saben cómo decir algo, está bien, it's okay. La idea es precisamente esa, right? So estamos acá eh, con una mente súper abierta uh, para aprender vocabulary every day, to practice every day. Um, sí, me faltan todavía a couple, I would say. Um, so, aparte de la participación activa, les agradezco, guys, um, al unirse a la hora, you know, de 8 um, a 10, que es lo que vamos a estar, más los 10 minutitos que les voy a robar algunas veces para nuestra sesión one on one. And, uh, um, let me see, y la participación en plataforma too, right? That is important. And, 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 let me see what else. And I think those are just general things. Um, a veces Zoom no nos deja guardado nuestro nombre completo. Um, como cuando entramos, a veces entramos con nombre de teléfono o con un nombre corto. So, si les voy a pedir que me ayuden uh, siempre revisando su nombre y haciendo el cambio de ser necesario, right? Eh, ahorita me parece solo Abigail Pérez, si me ayuda con su nombre completo. Damaris también, si me ayudan con su nombre completo, please para el conteo de minutos. Recordemos que eh, nuestra asistencia se cuenta por tiempo de conexión. So, just in case, eh, los, para que los compañeros no tengan ninguna dificultad encontrándolos, right? Um, so, guys, eh, um, let me see, let me see. A quick question. ¿Todos son, vienen juntos del módulo anterior o hay alguien nuevo? Estuvieron acá el módulo anterior, were you in basic four? No. no. ¿Quién es nuevo, guys? ¿Quién es la primera vez que está con inglés corporativo? So, veo su yapa, I see su yapa right there. Uh, Georgina, ¿es la primera vez que está con nosotros? This is the first time. Eh, sí, eh, solo hice el módulo dos y, y este. Ok, go módulo dos and you jump to number five. Ok. Ok, ok. Um, so, su yapa, primera vez que, se, que nos acompaña, primera vez que está con inglés corporativo. Buenas noches, sí, primera vez que estoy eh, acá estudiando en línea con inglés corporativo. Ah, ok, ok, welcome, welcome. Espero que esa experiencia sea agradable. I really hope um, esas dos horas, you know, are worth it. Eh, Noé, veo por ahí que también es la primera vez, I think. Sí, yo soy nuevo también. Primera vez que está con nosotros la like, Ingeni Program, de cualquiera de los programas. Sí. Ok, vez. so welcome. All right, so I got three people. Los demás guys ya venían juntos del anterior, la like Basic Four. Ya está hecha. Ok, ok, all right, great. Um, so, uh, guys, solo para quienes nos eh, acompañan for the first time. ¿Hace cuánto fue la última clase que tuvieron? When was the last time you studied English? Last Tuesday. Okay, so basic for last Tuesday. Y para quienes uh, están tomando clases o retomando clases, you know, like the first time today. So, su yapa, Noé, ¿cuándo fue la última vez que tuvieron o que practicaron inglés, you know, like in a long time? In my case, las um, Last year? two, year, two years ah okay so two yeah. years ago okay yes. two years ago all right Noé what about you uh, unos tres años cuando estaba en la universidad three years okay sí. okay and Georgina what about you uh, terminé el segundo módulo el mes pasado este mes el 7. Oh, so, del módulo 2, la, la movieron hasta el módulo 5. Ya no había cupo en el 3. Ah, ok, ok. Bueno, well, de hecho se ven bastante, bastantes cosas que van a hacer repaso. Ya. Yeah. So, el módulo Pretty Match se enfoca bastante como en, en revisar temas que ustedes ya vieron. Vamos a revisar Simple Present Again, um, you know. Um, los uh, quantifiers again, connectors again. So vamos a revisar un par de temas, you know. Probably entendería que esta es la razón why they put you in this one. But no worries, you know. Vamos siempre little by little. Uh, just to make sure that everybody gets it. 
Uh, my apologies, guys. Eh, si me escuchan un poquito ronca, my voice is cutting. Um, so, but I really hope, you know, this goes away soon. Uh, normalmente hacemos como el cambio entre inglés y español. So, vamos like 70, 30, 80, 20. Vamos a ir incrementando inglés, obviously, a medida que ustedes se vayan acostumbrando a mi velocidad, you know, a mi voz and everything. But today, uh, vamos a intentar ir like 50-50 uh, just to make sure everybody is uh, following us, all right? Um, so guys, really quick, um, I would like to know your names, eh, any piece of information. Vemos los nombres completos, so we are good. Creería que solo la forma como le gusta que le llamen, so how you like to be called. And uh, any piece of information you want to share is always welcome. Especialmente si es algo que los compañeros no sepan, que nos quieran compartir, right? New information, y pues quienes son nuevos, obviamente. <laughs> any piece of information is just welcome. Uh, so, Mr. Velázquez, iniciamos con usted. Uh, um, good evening. How do you like to be called? Hello. Hello. My name is uh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. I Industrial engineer. Okay. I work. I work in uh, John One SASB. Uh, um, I I need learn English. Okay. Why? Urgent. Why? Because because uh, in my work, okay. uh, visited very. Koreans. Oh, you have to visit the Koreans. I I I I, I talk with 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 theirs. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, well, hablo, nice. Hablo un poquito chachalaqueado, pero más menos me entiende. <laughs> okay. No, don't worry. I mean, this is como parte del proceso, right? And but you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job so far. Okay. Um, so you're an industrial engineer, okay. And the good thing is that you have the opportunity to talk with um, with other people, right? That speak English, okay. Of cool. course. Really, really cool. All right, uh, Vilma. So let me go. Oh, okay. How do you prefer to call me? Pardon, Mauricio. Is Mauricio okay, or do you prefer Antonio? No, Mauricio. Mauricio. Okay. Thank you. So nice meeting you. Welcome. Uh, Vilma, let me go with you. Hello, teacher. Good Hi, evening, Miss. everybody. Good evening. Um, um, my name is Vilma Maris Rodriguez. I am 32 years old. Um, I, I like it, um, the flowers. Okay. Um, nice to meet. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Uh, what do you prefer to be called? Do you prefer Vilma or is Maris okay for you? Damaris, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's why I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm asking. I prefer to ask. Okay, thank you. So nice meeting you, Damaris. Uh, all right, next. So I got Jorge. So Mr. Sanchez, let me go with you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quinones. Mm -hmm. um, I work to Garand in Salvador. I am a production manager. And I would like to learn English because it's very important to my work. Mm -hmm. I live in Santa Ana. Nice to meet you. Ah, oh, nice to meet you. Really nice. So are you in Santa Ana right now? Yeah. Uh, OK. OK. Thank you. What do you like to be called? Is Jorge all right for you? Uh, yes, Jorge. It's oh, time. okay. Okay, so the man is Mauricio Jorge. All right. Uh, so, Yapa, you appear next on my list. So, tell us a little bit about you, please. Good evening. Um, Hi. A teacher and classmate. My name is um, Suyapa Inora Reyes de Bien. I have um, 32 years old. And I have... Uh, mm -hmm. um, so, okay. and I have a, so, a husband, 
I work in car fruit, S A S B. Okay. Um, I, I need to learn English <laughs> because uh, it's important for uh, my future. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, do you prefer Suyapa or Dinora? Which of them is okay for you? Dinora. Dinora. <laughs> yes. okay. okay, that's all right. So Jorge, Demaris, and Dinora. Okay, thank you, Miss. Um, let me see. Ezequiel, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I don't know if that's Ezequiel or Ezequiel. Yes, Miss Ezequiel. Exe, okay. Yes. What do you prefer, Jose or Ezequiel? Ezequiel, Miss. Okay, X. <laughs> so yes. I'm just gonna call it X. Okay. <laughs> okay, tell us a little bit about you, please. Okay, my name is Jose Ezequiel Guzman. I live in San Miguel. Wow. I'm, I'm 22, sorry, 32 years old. Okay. And well, I'm here because uh, I wanna learn more in English. Okay, wow, ya que se te quitó 10 años. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's nice meeting you. Wow, it's really interesting because I have Jorge from Santana, I have Ezequiel from San Miguel. All right, very nice, thank you. Uh, it's Stephanie, so uh, uh, you appear next on my screen, so tell us a little bit about you, please. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, everybody. My um. I have to 26 years old. Um, I, I would like learning English and only that. <laughs> and I like uh, Michelle. Okay, so you prefer Michelle? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, Michelle, a quick question. Uh, that is that your voice? <laughs> yes. So, was that yeah. C or yeah. are you kind of sick? No, it, 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 it's, it's my voice. Wow, that's nice. You have a really deep voice. You know, that was bien, Ronquita. I mean, super yes. cool. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. My voice gets like this just because I'm sick. <laughs> okay. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mr. Herrera, you appear next on my list. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Juan Jose Herrera. I work from GBM El Salvador. I live in Guasapa, San Salvador. And I want to learn English because I need to use it in my job. Ah, okay. Do you speak English at work? In some, in some case. Okay. I need to you... translate some some manuals, some some meetings with mm -hmm. people around the world, and they speak English, and I need I need ah, it. Okay, nice, really interesting because you practice, <laughs> so you have practice uh, like outside classes. That is really nice. Okay, um, do you prefer Jose, Juanjo, or which one do you prefer? I prefer Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Juan okay. Okay. Great. Great. Sounds all right. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Uh, lady, I I see you next, my list. Hey, my name is Lady Chica. I have three four years old. I live in Ciudad Barrio. And I want to expand. That's San Miguel, area. right? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. I want wow. to expand my vocabulary a little more in English English. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh my god, we got some people from San Miguel, West Apa, and Santana. I feel so international. <laughs> so I feel like so nationwide. All right, thank you. Noel, tell us a little bit about you, please. Uh, no, eh? are you here? Maybe not. <clears throat> Hello to everyone. Hi. My name is Noe Ramirez. I'm 24 years old and I would like to learn English. 
Okay. Um, do you prefer to be called Noé or Vladimir? No, solo Noé. Okay, just Noé. All right. No, Thank no. you. So, uh, lady, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask. Um, is Xiomara all right or lady is better for you? Lady. Okay, lady. That's okay. So, Juanjo, lady. Damaris, uh, Dinora. Okay. Stephanie, uh, Mauricio, and Ezequiel. All right. Um, Georgina, let me go with you, please. Uh, good evening. My name is Georgina Coralia. Uh, I prefer Georgina. Mm -hmm. I live in Chalchuapa City. Um, I like cycling. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So Chalchuapa is a Wachapan, right? Or Santana. is that Santana? Ah, okay, so Santana. Okay, so that's Santana. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Coralia or Georgina, which is better for you? Georgina. Okay, Georgina. All right, thank you. I think I'm missing some people, but I'm not sure if they are here. Um, I remember that um, somebody was on her way home. I think that was Abigail. Uh, I see Andrea. Uh, hi, Andrea, are you with us? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing, miss? Tell us a little bit about you, please. And if you can help us with the camera, that would be beautiful. Es que acabo de, acabo de, de llegar ahorita del trabajo. Ah, no worries, no worries. So settle, settle down. Terminé de llegar, mis, tranquilamente, no worries. And, and when you are ready, you activate it. That's okay. I'll go back to you. Regreso con usted, no, no worries. Um, so I got Abigail. Okay, pero veo dos. I'm not sure. Abigail Bonilla and Mendoza. Um, so we have two, right? Yeah. Okay, so Miss Bonilla. Good evening. My name is Abigail Bonilla. I prefer my second name is Abigail. Oh, I don't what, like. is, what is your first name? Mm -hmm. Sandra. Uh, okay. Mm, I live in Apopa. I am accounting. Oh, I study accounting. <laughs> I work in Korea Association. Mm, I I mm, that's it. Okay, it caught my attention that you mentioned that you studied accounting. So you're not an accountant? Mm, now I work in auxiliary, auxiliary accounting. Oh, okay, but in accounting too? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. No, that sounds all right. So Abigail. All right. And I see Kenya. So Kenya, talk to us, please. Hi, Miss. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm sorry, teacher, because I don't have I... my exam because uh -huh. I am sick right now. Ah, no mm -hmm. worries. That's okay. Yeah, I, I feel that. you. I, I, am, I am feeling sick as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My name is Kenya Rodriguez. I am 38 years old. I live in San Salvador. I work in a pharmaceutical company. I work as an auditor. And I prefer call me Kenya. Okay. That's okay. All so Kenya. All right. Sounds okay. Sounds okay. All right. Well, I hope you feel better, Kenya, and I hope um, your illness goes away super soon. Okay. So the rest, I guess they can tell us later a little bit about them. Okay, guys. So thank you so much. Um, I am super happy to hear you speaking English. I really wanted to listen to everybody. 
and you may say, oh, but ya los conozco and everything. But it is important for me to listen to your pronunciation, um, escuchar su fluid, fluidez, you know, I needed to listen to your fluency. Um, ¿Cómo se comuniquen? How you communicate? How you give ideas? Because eso es mi parámetro inicial, right? Just to make sure cómo vamos a trabajar this basic number five. So today vamos a revisar un poquito uh, un par de um, temas importantes como son conectores. We're going to review connectors. Vamos a revisar daily routines in passing, super quick. Y vamos a revisar sobre todo vocabulario, guys. We're going to review a lot of vocabulary just to make sure you remember. Um, so once again, um, si podemos mantener la camarita encendida, that is just perfect. Si necesitan levantarse por agüita, por el baño, por comer algo, that's totally fine. Solo me escriban acá, like, I will be back in a moment, or be right back, como ya vuelvo, right? Or something, just to make sure that se han levantado por un momento. So the expression is be right back, right? Or in, in la forma corta es uh, be out of So vuelvo en un momento, right? Be right back. Um, les pido guys que me ayuden a mantenerse uh, super activos, giving ideas, sharing what you think. Um, no, no nos estamos, eh, no tenemos contacto físico in this way. Entonces sí les pido confirmación, right? Eh, ya sea verbal, ya sea en el chat, uh, con emojis or something. Uh, si tienen dudas, activate your microphone, please. Levanten la mano, you can raise your hand para saber si tienen dudas. Um, if you want to participate too, en la cámara no los podemos ver algunos, no nos caben todos, but eh, pueden levantar la mano just to make sure that you have a question, que quieren dar una opinión, y para también tenerlos presentes y no dejarlos sin participar, right? Your participation is really important. Um, so guys, um, creo que he hablado mucho. I have spoken a lot. Normally, I don't speak that much. So let's get started with today's session. Um, escuché que most of you said um, that English is important at work, que uh, necesitan para comunicarse because you need to work on it. Um, so eso es exacto lo que vamos a hacer, guys. Basic five, vamos a intentar eh, despegar, right? Porque ya estamos cerca de ir al intermedio. So vamos a ir a um, intentar ser un poquito más independientes. Si están acostumbrados a trabajar con el traductor, Vamos a empezar a despegarnos un poquito para empezar a generar ideas eh, individuales, independientes, en, sobre todo que nos vaya dando menos miedo a equivocarnos. Si se equivocan, no hay problema. Eh, and that is something really important, guys. Um, no vamos a, a reírnos, no vamos a, a hacer bullying, right? Al contrario, si sabemos un poquito más que el compañero, ayudémoslo. En inglés, socializar, ayudar, explicar. Um, les aprenden mucho más. You learn a lot, right? So let's get started, guys. With that being said, y vamos un poquito con vocabulary review. Please, guys, uh, get a notebook, get a pencil, get a pen. Si son de la nueva escuela y prefieren su computadora, use your laptop, use your um, iPad, your tablet, your phone, whatever you want. Vamos a escribir vocabulario. We're going to write some vocabulary. So get your notebook, please. Me avisan cuando ya lo tenga listo. Let me know when your notebook is ready or when your pen or pencil is ready. Um, I'll give you some seconds. Ready, guys? So sin un lápiz, do you have a pencil? Do you have a pen? Do you have a piece of paper? Ya lo tienen? You got it? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Okay, very nice. Guys, this is uh, a time activity. So vamos a iniciar con actividades eh, con tiempo. Time activity. I'm going to take the time here. And um, uh, this activity is going to be one minute. So la actividad es de un minuto. It's only one minute activity. Les voy a mostrar una categoría. And you have to write 10. Deben describir de 10 palabras relacionadas with the category. Es bastante rápido, it's kind of easy. For example, si la categoría acá dice countries, right, países, what we gotta do is, vamos a escribir 10 palabras por 10 países. Y eso es todo. So in your notebook, tienen un minuto, you have a minute, 
para escribir 10 países. Eh, si la categoría acá dice lugares en una ciudad, places in town. So again, tienen un minuto, you have a minute to write 10 places in town. Cuando terminen, guys, when you finish, uh, please say don't. Y cuando escuchen el primer don, dejan de escribir. Si no tienen los 10, no se preocupen. La idea es hacerlo lo más rápido que puedan, the fast as you can, para activar nuestro, nuestro cerebro, right? So guys, let's get started. You ready? Is everybody ready? Okay, very nice. Category sure. number one, guys. So, category number one. Hello? Sorry, teacher. I don't get it. Uh, you, you see, you, you, tú dices de que hay que escribir 10 países. No, 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 no. Uh, what I'm saying is, you will see the category here. Les voy a mostrar la categoría. I'll write the category. I'll show the category here. Y dependiendo de la categoría que tengan, van a escribir 10 palabras. You're going to write 10. No de países precisamente. That was the example, right? Um, so, si dice eh, countries, vamos a escribir countries. Si dice animals, so animals. Si dice colores, colors, right? Depending on the category. But of course, you have one minute. Tienen un minuto to do that. So you have a minute to write 10 words. And that's pretty much it. So let's get started, guys. Category number one. This one says write 10 verbs. You have one minute, 10 verbs. Again, si terminan antes, say finish, please. Say done. Sin traductor, guys, no translator. Sin revisar su cuaderno, don't change your notebook. No revisen sus notas, just memory. Thirty seconds. Done. Wow, that was quick. Okay, okay, guys, let's stop it there. So, el primer don terminamos. How many do you have? Seven. ¿Cuántos tienen los demás? Okay, seven. Ten. Ten. Okay. Ten. Ten. Seven. Nine. Oh, ten too. Eight. Okay, nine. All right. So birds, guys, díganme verbos. Give me some birds. Right. Jump. Play. Play. Run, write, read, listen, call, close, sing, speak, talk, walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Angry. Very nice. Okay, very, very nice. Feel, travel. Feel, travel. Okay. Okay, good. Good job. Really good. Okay, guys, next category. Vamos con la siguiente. Again, remember, si terminan antes, digan done, digan finish. Y ahí lo detenemos. We'll stop it there. Next. Ten jobs. Finish. Done. Okay, okay, guys. So stop it there. Stop it there. All right. So jobs. What jobs do you have? What do you have, guys? Dentist, doctor, dentist, nurse, policeman, doctor. Doctor. okay, engineer, lawyer, engineer. Ordenen los teachers porque se oye como que es rezo eso. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies, just name it. So just name it. Just name the jobs you get. Um, okay, so, okay, very nice. Solamente remember, guys, um, abogado is lawyer, right? Lawyer. Creo que por ahí escuché liar. Uh, también, pero... Mentiroso. So, también, pero son lawyers, right? They are lawyers. Okay, very nice. We got them. 
Okay. Vamos con el siguiente, guys. Let's go with next. Remember, say done y la idea es solamente come up. So, mencionan todos los que tienen. No worries. Next. Ten adjectives. What is an adjective? Palabras que me describen. Um, inteligente, hablantín, divertido, enojado, right? Serio, sorry. All the words that describe people. One minute. Oops. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, time's over. So time's yeah. over. How many adjectives do you have? In the last days, do you have ten? Yeah. Beautiful, I have serious, mm -hmm. tall, small, yeah. wonderful, talking, intelligent. Ah, okay, very good. Talkative, right? Como hablantín, talkative. Okay, talkative, very nice, nice, okay. ¿Qué más, guys? Tall, no, small, fat, things. Strong. Smart, funny, hungry, short. Okay, very good. Smart, yes. Tall, of course. Anything else? Body. Boring, okay. What else? Way. Angry. Way. Ugly. Okay. Uh -huh. handsome. Ugly, handsome. Yes. Creo que escuché por ahí wait. Pues no estoy segura si es de esperar. Dumbing. Dumbing. No, teacher, de pesado. Oh, ah, pero wait quizás no. Wait no sería un adjetivo. El adjetivo sería heavy. Ah, weight, okay, sí, ajá, sí. weight es el peso, right? But that would be heavy, okay? Creo que alguien por ahí decía dummy. Okay, yes, it is an adjective. Um, aunque no tan positivo, but yes, yes, it's an adjective. Okay, guys, um, vamos con el último. Let's go with the last. Again, un minuto, one minute, and we finish with this. Ten vegetables. Guys, let's go with ten vegetables. Ten seconds left. Time's over. Okay, guys, so time's over. Vegetables, how many do you have? Four. Seven. Tomato, potato, lettuce, carrot. Oh, that's it. Okay. Ezequiel? Uh, sí, teacher, yo tengo cucumber. Onion, tomato, potato, avocado, carrot, radish. Solo esas escribí. Ah, okay. But well, those are good. Jorge, you said you have seven. Potato, carrot, onion, cucumber, tomato, lettuce, and garlic. Ah, okay. Okay. Anybody else who has ten? Nine? Cabbage. Cabbage. Okay. Banana. Cabbage. Uh, cabbage, potato, I think I heard. Banana? Onion. Banana is fruit. Banana is a fruit, yes. <laughs> Banana would be a fruit. Onions, okay. Garlic, sí, onion. Plátano no sería como un vegetal. Plantain. That would be a plantain. But I have to be super honest. Creería que plantain también es una fruta. Ya le investigo. Because I don't know. Normally, when the, one of the characteristics is that um, they don't have seeds. 
let me think because uh let me let me check let me investigate later i'm not quite sure that will be plantain okay come on guys any other um vegetable can i look at my teacher Mm -hmm. Yes, miss. Carrot. Carrot. Yes, carrot. Cauliflower. Cauliflower, yes, cauliflower. Broccoli, guys. We got broccoli. We got cauliflower. Uh, we um, got. Which one, um, Abigail? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't distinguish uh, the sound. C O R N. C O C O R N. Oh, ah, corn. Okay, corn. All right. Corn. Okay. Corn. 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 But se llama pepinillos cuando están encurtidos, when they are kind of, but they are pickles, they are pickles. So, okay. Okay, so it's not that bad. I think we definitely get, got like the whole thing here. So um, I have some questions, guys, today. Actually, we're going to be talking a little bit about food. And I have some questions here. Number one said, what's your favorite snack? right what's something that you normally eat um do you eat vegetables do you eat fruit do you eat uh, like hamburgers um or the pancakes or uh, torrejas or i don't know something more salvadorian uh what unhealthy food do you love do you like any of the food that is right here what food do your mother always tell you to eat and not to eat Vegetables, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, <laughs> los que acaban de mencionar, like avocado, potato, tomato, I don't know. What How do you say remolacha? Beet. So that is beet. I'm going to write it here in the chat. So beet. Um, what food helps you with some health problems? For example, my throat hurts. So mi garganta está muy mal. My throat hurts. What food helps? with the throat or if you have the flu so get, get toma. what food is okay for you when you feel sick when you have a stomach ache, when you have a flu when you have fever so what food helps number five said what is your favorite food what isn't it what are the ingredients what are the different elements that you put my favorite food is pupusas all the time so what do you include in pupusas, guys? ¿Qué ingredientes tiene? What in ingredients does it have? Cheese. Okay. Beans. Cheese, beans. Bean. Mm -hmm. Pacha wrong. <laughs> pork. <laughs> pork. Okay. So corn. pork. Beans. Squash. Corn. Squash. Uh-huh. Or pumpkin, depending. Or chayore. No, chayore, no. Pumpkin. Loroco. I don't like Loroco. Do you like Loroco, guys? Yeah. Yes, yes. I like it. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't like it? Very I, 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 well, I like Loroco, but I don't like the smell of Loroco. I feel the smell is too strong. So the smell, el olor, right? I don't like the smell, but I like the flavor. So it's a little different. So that is exactly what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna talk about these questions. Um, guys, vamos a armar grupos because I want to listen to you. I wanna listen to your voices, to your opinions, what you think, et cetera. Um, give me a moment here. Um, so three, four. Okay, I'm going to ask you to join some groups. Mm. Okay, one, two. Okay, guys, so I'm going to invite you 
to go to the groups. Les voy a compartir la pantalla. I'm going to share the screen. So no necesitan copiarla or take a screenshot or anything. Um, we have five minutes. Tenemos cinco minutitos to discuss the questions, right? No les escriban, guys. En, la, en su grupo les van a ver. You will see them in your group. So let's go, please. Okay, so in the case of Juan Jose, Noé, Stephanie, Suyapa, and the Maris, pardon, and the Nora, and the Maris, guys, ustedes se quedan acá. You stay here, no les va a aparecer la invitación, pero acá tiene las preguntas, right? You have the questions right here. Uh, please talk about them, discuss them, feel free to share ideas. I'm going to turn off my microphone uh, to monitor the other groups, all right? So all yours, guys. Hola compañeros y compañeras. Hola. Aquí. Hello. Again. Hello. <risa> Íbamos a estar de vacaciones, pero ya no. <risa> Yo sé, nos mintieron. <risa> <risa> okay. Y tres horas diarias, de lunes a viernes. <risa> no, no, no. <risa> Okay, nos hacemos las preguntas. Yes. Sí. Okay. What is your favorite snack? Okay. okay. My favorite snack. Pizza. <laughs> okay, pizza. Yes. Quiero ver. Elote crazy, no sé cómo se dice elote. Elote crazy. <laughs> Or, Esa es la idea. Crazy. Core, core crazy. Core, core crazy. Core crazy. I really like. Okay. My favorite I like snack it is, is mm, mm, potato and French fries. Okay. French with with cheese with ketchup. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Vilma, I saw your hands. Um, my favorite snack is pizza. I love it, pizza. Oh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Hawaiian and pizza. Good choice. <laughs> okay. That's good snack. I don't know. No, no, what? I like the pupusa with chilling. All the Pupus. time. <laughs> Pupusas with what? With chile. Okay. okay with see. chile. ¿Cómo? Mm, chile spicy, sería. Spicy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to say my favorite snack, like nachos. I don't know how to say that. Nachos. Oh, yes, nat nachos. Yes, also, <laughs> nachos is really very uh, delicious. Delicious, yes. <laughs> delicious, delicious. Okay. What unhealthy food do you love? <laughs> Todas las anteriores. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, in San Salvador, so uh, panes con ripio. Panes uh, con ripio. Yes, the, the in ingredients <laughs> is um, beans and rice, eggs, um, oh. and chimol. Really cheese. Good. Cheese, yes. Okay. It's really good. Okay, like a uh, killer child. <laughs> and Santana <laughs> is no, the panes, mm -hmm. panes chucos. Ah, okay. Okay, panes chucos. <laughs> Tendrá un, una forma de decirlo en inglés. Pitcher, <laughs> está por ahí la pitcher. Okay. Chucos, ya. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What los mal llamados you? hot dog. Los mal llamados hot dogs. <laughs> okay. 
perrito caliente, exacto. <risa> <risa> Son buenos. De carne. Sí. <risa> ok. What food did In my case, mothers... I love shorties. Oh, yes. Shorties. Yes. But today is expensive. <laughs> yes, it's too expensive. <laughs> it's too expensive. I think it's no a good idea to speak the food these hours. Despierta el hambre. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, what food did your mother always tell you to eat and not to eat? First, I think vegetables. Always vegetables. tell us vegetables. <laughs> Please eat vegetables. Yes. It's healthy. Beans. That will help you to grow up. Beans, yes. Yes, rice, eggs, milk. Yes. And not to eat. Pizza, hamburger, McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Churritos. Yeah. Churritos, yes. La bolsa de la Diana, sí. Churritos y fruxi. <laughs> y yuca fruxi. frita. Chuca frita. <laughs> El snack de campeones. <laughs> Con pescadita. Con pescadito, chicharrón. Exacto. <laughs> Directo a la arteria. <laughs> Correcto. <laughs> okay. What food help with which health problem? Mm. Mm. El ajo. Uh, garlic. Yes. yes, garlic. Garlic. Ginger. Ginger. Yes. Red ginger. Oreo. What? Red Oreo is, uh, is red good. onion. Onion. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, How did you say remolacha? Eh, dijo que bit. era. Bit. Bit. Okay, bit. B E E T. Okay. Broccoli. How do you say that? Eh, parrot. 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 Carrot. Eh, cucumber. 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 Yes. Yes. It's like rabbit. Right. <laughs> Okay. What is your favorite food? What is in it? Mm -hmm. I love it. Beef. Beef. With, yes, yes. With rice. Yes. Beef. <laughs> and vegetable. And vegetable. Beef, vegetables, and bread with garlic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like soap. 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 Chicken. Or... Are different soap. Okay. Okay. Also. Bean soaps. Bean soaps with rice, tortita tostada, cheese. Cheese. Un Mocito, chilito con cebollita. Chilito. <risa> de verdad. Y ahorita más que ya cerraron la cocina. Ya voy a venir a traer. <risa> ok. Ok. Creo que finalizamos. Sí. Yes. Finish.
que hoy es Navidad, es bien peligroso ¿verdad? con la alimentación. Solo aquí. Y en enero todo es la meta. de ¿verdad? Todos Vamos para el gimnasio, nivel. al menos sí. el primer mes. <risa> el primer mes de, del, del año ese. Así, los gimnasios. Full, gimnasio. ya me... Sí, todos con los cachetes bien hinchados. Con nuevos propósitos. Sí. Exacto. Hi, guys. Already, Hi. guys, ¿me escuchan doble? Are you listening to me like double with an echo? No. No, no teacher. No. 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 Okay. okay. I listen good. Okay, very nice. So I was listening well, to like most of your groups and... Uh, That was really nice. So everybody try to say ideas in English. I'm super glad that's happening so that you're giving it a shot. All right. Uh, so guys, uh, talking about this one, let's take a look at question number two. What unhealthy food do you love? Guys, what is something that you like talking about unhealthy food? I love it. Pizza, teacher. What is your favorite uh, ingredient in a pizza? Um, Suprema. <laughs> okay. Okay. That is the one that has vegetables, right? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. I don't know why, but I really like uh, Hawaiian pizzas or like with the one with pineapple. I know people hate it, but I really like it. Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? What is some unhealthy food you like? I like um, hamburger. Oh, they are so delicious. Which one yeah. do you prefer? Do you prefer like uh, Burger King, BK, uh, Wendy's, or what's the other one? Um, I, McDonald's? Prefer, I prefer Wendy's. You prefer Wendy's? Yes. Are they bigger? Or the flavor, are they bigger? Are they like bigger um, in size? No, no. Um, normal. <laughs> normal. I just yes. I prefer I like Wendy's because of the fries. <laughs> uh, 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 they, I think they are okay. I think they are good. All right. Okay. So, uh, um, pizza, hamburgers. Okay, guys. What about the rest? What unhealthy food do you love? Tacos. Tacos, okay. Yes. I have, well, I don't know, guys. Do you think tacos are unhealthy? Is a birria, tacos birria? Yes. Tacos birria, <laughs> okay. <laughs> It depends on the ingredients. <laughs> yes. Okay, all right. What about the rest? How do you say tortas? Torta mexicana. Those are tortas, same thing. Uh -huh. So Mexican tortas, okay. Mexican tortas. Okay. I Um, I have my thoughts. I have my ideas whether they are healthy or unhealthy. I want to believe they have vegetables on. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the point. Okay, guys, what about the last one? What's your favorite food? I know um, it's kind of late and we don't want to get hungry. <laughs> but what is your favorite food? Do you have any favorite? Pupusas. Pupusas, okay. Yeah. What, but which ones? Corn pupusas, Dece, uh, rice pupusas. De, de San Juan Jose de Loroco. <laughs> you like Loroco's pupusas? Oh, okay. I hate. <laughs> oh, you don't like them? I don't like them. But you don't like the flavor, don't the smell, smell or? Ah, everything. you don't like it. So what do you do when, when the pupusa has a little bit of Loroco? I have Cheese with Loroco. One for one then. <laughs> Take off. I'm just serious. Yes. So you yes. remove the loroco from pupusas? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Well, oh, sí. okay. <laughs> oh, so you don't I eat like the, the pupusas with chicken, teacher. You don't like? Or you like? I like with chicken. Ah, pupusas. okay. It's chicken pupusas. All right. Yeah, but so besides pupusas or is pupusas your favorite food, guys? What would be your favorite food? Eh, pupusa con chile jalapeño. Okay, What do you so, say? What do you say? Con curtido de mayonesa. 
Ah, from San Miguel. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's a really good question, actually. Guys, do you like San Miguel's pupusas? I mean, not, not pupusas, the complement, let's say, the garnish. Are you okay with mayo uh, in, the, in the cabbage, you know, and um, this black sauce and, and everything that is with it? Do you like pupusas, uh, San Miguel style? ¿Cómo se diría, dice Johnny, valor de probarlas? <laughs> I don't dare. You can say, I don't dare to taste them. Okay. Um, I, that is like, I don't, I don't dare. So there is like, no me atrevo. Uh -huh. So I don't dare. You don't dare to taste them? The same feelings de Juan José. I don't you, dare. You have never tasted those? <laughs> No. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, from Why San Miguel. Why? It feels dangerous. It feels dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your stomach will feel it. <laughs> okay. Um, but but it's not bad, you know, it's not bad. Um the I have to say I prefer San Salvador pupusas better, but it it's okay, but for me it it feels very oily. So I don't know if you you know the word oily. Um, it feels kind of fatty or kind of oily. So because mayo has oil, pupusas have some oil. So it feels really oily at the end. Pupusas crazy, teacher. Ah, the crazy pupusa. Okay. Mm -hmm. And actually, like one week ago, they were celebrating the pupusas day, right? Um, so in El Salvador, which is a really good thing. Okay, very nice. Guys, a uh, question. You live in Olopuilta. Oh, nice. Yes. My family is from Olopuilta too. Okay. So, can you make pupusas, Hector? Yes, all, all days. No, 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 but can yeah. you make? Can you make pupusas? Make? Ah, uh, uh -huh. I don't know. Only my wife. <laughs> ah, okay. You have never tried? Yes, yes, I try uh, uh, some someday. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, okay. What about you, teacher? The pupusas me quedan como con ladrillos. So they are too heavy. Yes, I learned because my family is from Olofuita. So when I was a little girl, they were like, if you are from a local, that you can, you need to make pupusas. So I had to learn that that's so bad, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can make pupusas. Someday I will test you, teacher. You taste my pupusas? Eh, like, lo de eso que el complemento de San Miguel un día lo voy a probar. Ah, you will taste it. Yes, yes. I taste. taste. I mean, it's not bad. It's 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 actually delicious. But Hector says a word that I like. It's dangerous for your stomach. <laughs> I will call you. Como Ezequiel, dijo mi compañero, ni no valor I... tengo. <laughs> <laughs> you don't dare. So you don't dare to taste them. Okay, okay. That's no, right. sabe feo. Eh, no, eh, it's not bad. Bueno. Uh -huh. It's not that bad, definitely. I will yeah. call you Ezequiel. Ezequiel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> to test the compliment. I, okay. think the pro I think the problem is when you think, I'm going to get sick, I'm going to get sick, it's going to be bad. <laughs> so uh -huh, if you set your mind in a negative way, you'll get sick. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead. And teacher, teacher, I, I have a question for Juanjo. Mm -hmm. Juanjo, have you ever eaten a campestre salad? It's the same. Yes. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. It's oh, the same. same. Really? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Okay. okay. No, it's not bad. It's not that bad. The thing is that you have the normal it be cabbage. Easy to eat. <laughs> yes, it's just a little oily, but okay. it's not that bad. All right, guys. So take a look at the following part. Talking about food, we have here a little something regarding uh, manufacturing processes. And I think, um, guys, do you work in products? Uh, do you work in the area of products? Does your company make anything? Does your company make, I don't know, shoes, beds, food, 
No. Does your company make create anything? No. You don't. No. no. Only no. repair cars. Only repair. Oh, okay. No, but it's still, it's still. It is not a manufacturing, but you are in the area of services. So yeah, let's say that we will work with this. So um, this unit is a little bit about manufacturing or creation, but we are going to focus in steps, like how to explain different steps. So um, first, let's go ahead and let's check the meaning of some vocabulary here and a couple of words. We have this word, let me change color. Um, okay. We have this word, thin layer. Um, we have the word sliced. We have the word sounds. Uh, we have diabetic. Um, we have amount. We have bubblegum. I don't know if you know the, what this is. Um, and I think that's it. So, yes, okay. Okay, guys, first, uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, repeat, please, the words that are uh, underlined. So, repeat with me. Manufacturing. 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 Next one, thick layer. Thick layer. 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 Thick. Right, thick. thick layer. So thick layer. layer, um, thick layer. It says a thick layer of chocolate. So thick layer, thick is like this. When we are talking about like uh, size, right? Something that is thick, like a book. A book can be thin or can be thick. So thick is like lanchura, right? Lo gruesa. So thick layer. Next one, guys. Slice. 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 Uh, and we have almonds. Do you know what almonds are? Almond. Do you know the meaning of almonds? Almond. Almendra. Uh -huh. Almond. Exactly. So a sliced. What do you think a slice is? Capita. Mm. Rebanada, no? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So a slice is like um, the rebanadas or pieces of, a sli uh, of almonds. Actually, it's like, for example, you have a cake. You have a party, you have this big cake, and you need and you start cutting it in pieces. That is called a slice. So you have a slice of cake, a slice of pizza. So a slices, right? Like pieces. Uh, next one, guys, let's repeat it. Sound. 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 Great. Mm -hmm. There we go. Diabetic. 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 Yeah. Diabetic. Amount. 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 Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Uh, bubble gum is something that you normally eat. So if you buy Trident or if you buy, um, what is the other one? I just know Trident. What are other bubble gums? Clorets, so Clorets, Tridents, um, can you tell me others? Ah, oh, that one, Bubalu. yes, I, I couldn't remember the name. So those are bubble gum. Do you like bubble gum? You do? Yes, okay. yes I like it. I have Clorets. braces, uh-huh, Clorets, Tridents. I have braces, you know, so I cannot eat a bubble gum. So all my mouth gets into bubble gum. So that's not a good thing. Not a good idea. All right, guys. So here we have like the process for, uh, this is a manufacturing process. How to make chocolate. I don't know if you are familiar with these. So let's take a look. Um, can I have two volunteers, please? Who wants to help us uh, read in it? Okay, thank you, Damaris. So you can help us with Anna. And I need um, a boy for Mark. Oh, okay, Abigail, nice. Help us with Mark, please. I'll help you with Diana. I am so, Anna. You are Anna, yes. Okay. Mark, will you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. 
First, we add a thin layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. And then? Finally, um, finally we add ginger. Ginger. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Ginger. Um, uh, later I'll explain you. No worries. Later I'll explain you. Um, okay. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? Can they eat? Can they? And we go with Mark. I'm not going to lie. The amount no. of sugar is too high. We consider considerate those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and body oh, gum mm -hmm. with zero sugar contains. Mm -hmm. Great, let's take a look. Already, thank you so much. Okay, guys, very good job. So um, we have ginger, I think it was the word you mentioned. So um, for example, I feel sick, my throat hurts right now. So I go to my garden and I have ginger. So I clean it, I wash it, and I make a ginger tea. So uh, ginger is this spicy root. Um, is um, how do you call it in Spanish? It's the root. It's oh my god, guys, que le ponen a los test. What do you? Okay, for, hey, for COVID, it. for hey, flu. Yes, thank you. I was trying to find the word, but but my mind doesn't process that in Spanish. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, that is ginger. Okay, guys, so take a look here. Uh, repeat with me, please. We have chocolate. Chocolate. Okay, one more time. Chocolate. 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 Uh -huh. So only two, only two. Chocolate. 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 So re repeat with me, please, guys. Chocolate. 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 Okay, very nice. So we don't pronounce O anymore. Uh, ginger. 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 Mm -hmm. Ginger. Ginger. And this one that is sugar. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, so according to this one, uh, what is a step number one? They are talking about the manufacturing process. A step number one is? Uh, we add. Uh -huh. We add. A thick layer of chocolate, so step one. Step two, second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. That is a step two. Okay, then the person says, and then we add ginger. So you have the three steps right there. And we have first, we have second, we have finally. So we have different words to talk about process, but these are some of the most common. Um, now we're going to practice the conversation in a couple of seconds. Uh, for example, guys, if you remember in module one, you learn to talk about your daily routine, right? And you use some expressions like first, I wake up, then I take a shower. Um, after that, I have breakfast. Then or next, I brush my teeth. Finally, I go to work. So we can use all of these words to talk about process too. First, then, after that, next, and finally. Guys, um, what is, well, the first thing we do is wake up, right? What do you do after you wake up? ¿Cuál es la segunda actividad? What is your second activity? I dress. Mm -hmm. So you get dressed too? Todos tenemos rutinas diferentes. So, what is your second activity? I take a shower. Do you take a shower? 
I brush my teeth. Ah, okay, so you brush your teeth, somebody else uh, takes a shower, okay. So, um, this word, first and second, se lleva en orden, finally, va al final. Pero then, after that, en next, lo uso como yo quiera, no hay problema. There is no problem in the order you use it. So, guys, what is your daily routine? What activities do you do every single day, right? So, we have first, then, after that. Next and finally, guys, I'll give you five minutes. Um, so you can really quick organ organize your morning routine. So what do you do? What do you do every day in the morning? In my case, for example, first I wake up at five in the morning, five or five twenty. Uh, then I check my cell phone and I check if I have um any important message from my company. After that, I um I take I prepare my clothes and I take a shower. Um later I put on makeup, I brush my hair, I brush my teeth, and I get dressed. Sometimes I have breakfast, sometimes I don't. Finally, I leave my house at six in the morning. Um guys, what about you? What is your morning routine? What do you do every day? I'll give you five minutes. Five minutes, guys. What is your routine? Mm, this is a quick something. Um, si se sienten más cómodos escribiéndola, write it. It's okay. Si consideran que la pueden ir diciendo sin escribirla, ya no la escriban. Solo piénsenlo en voz alta. Organicen la idea, pero no lo escriban. So we can do that as well. Finish teacher. Okay, thank you so much. We just give like two more minutes uh, for the rest. Finish teacher. All ready. Guys, one more minute.
finish. Already, thank you so much. So thank you for the confirmation. Okay, guys, so um, tell us a little bit about your morning, just the morning routine that would be okay. So what do you normally do in the morning, guys? What is your morning routine? Teacher, you wake yes. up 6 a.m. Okay, so, you, oh, oh, okay. Take a shower. Next, then I take a shower after that. I dress next, I go to the bus stop. Finally, I get to my work and I breakfast. <laughs> what time do you get to work? At 8 a.m. Oh, and you wake up at 6? Yes. Do you live close to your work? Uh, do you sorry. Do you live? Yes, yes. Do you live close to your work? No, I, 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 I sorry, uh, si vivo cerca o, o... Yes, yes, exactly. Do you live close? No, Vive no. Vive cerca? Uh, one hour, the, one hour and three, 30 minutes. You live one hour in 30 minutes away. Lejos yes. de su casa, away. Wow, when that's I, a lot. When when I when I when have uh, uh, traffic jam mm -hmm. I um, tardar teacher. I take I take I take it two hours. Two hours, wow. So you live in Olocuita, you say, right? Yes. I, and where do you work? In Me Mexicanos. Oh my God, yes. That's so far away. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's really far away. All right, all right. Thank you. That's a very nice description. Guys, anybody else want to share the description? Me teacher. Uh, just please, Mr. Velasquez, okay. go ahead. Okay, my my routine today is a first, uh, wake up at uh, 5 a.m., mm -hmm. then make an exercise. Oh, okay. After that, take a shower, next, uh, get a dresser, and okay. finally, I go in my, in my work. Oh, okay. Wait, wait a second. I heard you said I do exercise. Yeah. How long do you do exercise? Por cuánto tiempo? How long do you do exercise? Uh, 20, 20 minutes. Wow, in the morning. Yeah. Wow, my I, admiration goes to you. My work, I work in a... Uh, uh, Internet, international song in uh, como es mm -hmm. en, en, ¿dónde en pupusa como es? Olocuilta. Mm -hmm. Ah, you live in an international company, Olocuilta. I no, I live in San Salvador. Okay. I I go my work in Zona Franca Internacional. Olocuilta. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, I travel uh, 25 minutes the house uh, mm -hmm. my work. 25 minutes? Yeah. Oh, from Olocuilta. Yeah. That is fast. Okay. Wow, that is really fast. But it is amazing that you do exercise. So, que bueno que le queda, que tiene la voluntad, you know, <laughs> to wake up early and do exercise, because I wouldn't do it. I, it's really hard for me to do it. Okay. Thank okay. you for that. Thank okay. you, Maurice. No okay, problem. guys, one more person who wants to tell us about his or her uh, activities. Hi, 
I say my routine? Yes, please go ahead in order. Okay. I get out at five o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. First, and then I take a shower, I brush teeth, I get a dress. After that, I prepare my breakfast and a, a, a bath lunch or lunch bath. My lunch box. Long, mm -hmm. lunch my bath. lunch box. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, I check I check the weight for see a traffic. Mm, okay. Yeah. And finally, I try to my work and I eat my breakfast because I start uh, at work at 7 a.m. Oh, so that is earlier. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. But it's it's nice. I think that earlier you don't see a lot of traffic, right? So that is not bad. Okay. Nice. Thank you so much. All right. Anybody else, guys? Okay, so that sounds okay. All right, guys, now take a look at the following part. So um, pretty much connectors, they help us to talk about the order, right? What we do first, what we do second, and with the daily routine, it is the same process. But we are not going to talk much about daily routine today, but we are going to talk about just how to prepare or how to talk about manufacturing uh, objects, okay? So here in the previous uh, conversation, we had how to make chocolate. Como se preparan, like probably cookies, probably um, just chocolate, etc. So we're gonna talk about some processes that we do. And over here, I have just some exercises about things that are super easy to prepare. Uh, for example, if we take a look here, it says how to make a good cup of tea. Now, guys, can you make a good cup of tea? Todos pueden prepararte. Can you make a cup of tea? Yes, right? Yes. Mm, like a maruchan. <laughs> so <laughs> something easy, something not complicated. How to make a maruchan, how to make a cup of tea, how to make coffee, how to make cereal. Guys, those are super, super easy things to do. But take a look at this. Here we have all the description how to make a good cup of tea. And we have the words after, afterwards, finally, first, next, and then. So, um, again, ¿qué palabras puedo alternar sin problema? After, after that, afterwards, next, and then, tienen el mismo significado, and they don't alter the meaning. Um, so, what is step number one? ¿Qué es lo primero que haríamos, guys? This is number one. ¿Cuál es la primera palabra we used for talk about processes? First. We're talking about that. First. First. Exactly. So, what is step number one? First, boil some water. What is this, guys? What is boil some water? ¿Qué es lo primero cuando hacemos té? Calentar agua. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Hervir el agua, calentarla. First, Boil some water. Number two, step two. What is a step two? ¿Qué palabra tienen o oh, qué palabra after. podemos usar then? Ah, after, next, then, porque dijimos que no hay problema. They mm -hmm. don't affect. Uh -huh. So I can use then or next or next or then y no me afecta. So then put one teaspoon of tea per each, you know, teaspoon. Then, or next, pour the boiling water into the pot and wait for five minutes. After, ah, oh, okay, look at this. Mm -hmm. So, todos estos no tienen ningún problema si yo cambio el orden. Uh, puedo intercambiarlos and we are good. After that, stir the tea and pour it into uh, sorry, a cup. Sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, Mm, no, I'm going to do it at the end. Voy a okay. pasar la lista al final. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Porque todavía veo que hace poco se unió algunos compañeros. Yes. Okay. And then we have number five, guys. After that, 
add milk or lemon uh, if you want. And enjoy your cup of tea. Number six. ¿Qué es lo último que usamos? What is the last word we use? Finally. Finally. So finally, you will feel really refreshed. And that's it. So if you take a look, easy. First. Y luego, it then will, next, after, after that. Mm, it's not very often. It's not very common. Pero si usted lo quiere usar, tendría que ser to finish. No solo finish, but to finish. Or to finish it, right? Uh, to finish it, comma, you will feel really refreshed. But lo más común es finally, not to finish. Um, so, okay, take a look super quick. Guys, uh, repeat with me, please. Ya me van a dar un par de ejemplos. Too. We have boil, repeat with me. Boil. 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 Mm -hmm. Put. Put. Uh, steer. Steer. Mm -hmm. steer. Uh, add. Add. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy. There you go. So we have put, right? I think you know it. Steer. Okay, so tengo el, el poquito. I have the, like the bag, the tea bag. ¿Y qué es lo que hago con el té? I steer it. Solo muevo, right? I steer it. Like when you put sugar in your coffee. You steer it. Um, and finally, enjoy. Si le quiero decir a alguien, disfrute su comida, buen provecho, enjoy. So enjoy yeah. your cup of tea. So provecho, enjoy, right? That's the one we use. So, questions, preguntas, guys, vocabulary, questions with the words. ¿Tienen alguna duda? Do you have any question here? Teacher, what, what is this spoon? A teaspoon. Very good question. So, um, en realidad nuestro té viene en bolsitas. It comes in bags. But imagine sugar. ¿Cómo le ponen el azúcar? ¿Cómo miden el azúcar? Cucharadas. En cucharadas. Exactly. So that is a teaspoon. So put one teaspoon of tea. Acá el té viene como para disolver, right? But we can modify it too, and we can say put two teaspoons of tea or two teaspoons of sugar or one teaspoon of sugar. So that is like la cucharada. That is the one. Okay, guys. So any other question, doubts? Teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes. In lugar de teaspoon, no se puede utilizar tablespoon. Uh, yes, teaspoon, lo que sucede es que las teaspoon, las cucharas hay de diferente tamaño. No sé si alguna vez ha visto algún show de cocina, que, or, sí, sí. Um, le, o cuando va como like a restaurant, le ponen diferentes uh, cucharitas. Because teaspoon es pequeñita, tablespoon es la grandota. Uh -huh. So acá es como, la, la, uh, mm, es como una cuchara grande, uh -huh. but uh, okay. teaspoon es súper pequeñita. Mm -hmm. That's why. Pero sí, también tenemos tablespoon. Depende del tamaño. All right, okay. guys. This is just for a tea. Imagine something super easy como hacer un té. Okay, guys. Now, I have a little exercise for you. We are going to do the following. We are going to wait. We'll do this tomorrow. We'll do this one, guys, that says how to make a sandwich. Everybody makes sandwich in a different way. Algunos los, uh, you toast them, otros les ponen verduras, otros les ponen egg, um, otros solo les ponen mermelada. Some put just mermelade, uh, mer um, yeah, like some put jam on it, otros ponen ham. Cabbage. Put, uh, yeah, cabbage, exactly. So, to todos llevan un proceso diferente. So, guys, we are going to do this, how to make a sandwich. In group, guys, we are going to make a sandwich. You decide qué tipo de sandwich quieren ponerle. What, uh, what type of bread or si lo van a hacer diferentes. If you're going to make them different. Qué ingredientes les van a agregar, right? Y cuál es el paso a paso in this thing. Um, so, guys, I'm going to give you some minutes. Uh, so, we can work in groups. And... Uh, 
Vamos a crear nuestro sandwich. We're going to make a sandwich. All right. Uh, guys, tenemos uh, like seven minutes. We have like around seven minutes to make your sandwich. Describan el proceso. Describe the process. What is first? What is second? What's next? All right. And then we'll present them. So, guys, let's go for it. Um, los acabo de invitar a los grupos. Let's go there. Uh, same thing, Abigail, Juan Jose, Stephanie, Dinora, and the Maris. Quédense por acá. So, you stay here. Los demás, guys, nos vamos al grupo. So, go, please, go. Eh, les dejo de compartir mi pantalla. Les estoy presenting para que ustedes puedan presentar si necesitan, right? Um, or to make it faster. So, there you go. de nuevo. Hello. <laughs> Make a sandwich. First. No. We take um, pieces of bread, bread and bread and put mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? <laughs> Ketchup. I know, I don't like it. <laughs> sandwich. Nice, nice. Okay. Yes. Ok, bueno, entonces le vamos a poner las dos cosas. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok. okay. First, take a piece of bread. Yes. Two pieces of bread. Tomato. Yes. Okay. And then, then um, get shoot in my mess. After cheese, yes, yeah, cheese, cheese and yellow cheese, yellow cheese, yellow cheese, yes. and uh, jamón. How do you say jamón? Ham. 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 First, then, after, next. Toast. What? Tostarlo. Toast. Yes. It, um, I don't know if put tomato or cucumber. 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 Lettuce. No. Como? Lettuce. Lettuce. Ah. Lettuce. <laughs> Como se escribe? Um, okay. I spelling L E T T. U C E. Letters. Letters. Okay. Letters. Tomato. And cucumber. Finally. 
toast. Calentar. Eh, como en el horno. Toast. So. Okay. First, take two pieces of bread, then spread ketchup and mayonnaise. After, put cheese and jam. Next, put lettuce, tomato, and cucumber. And finally, test. Toast. Try spelling, please. Spelling, the letter. What Toast. word? Um, calen eh, calentar. Toast. Mm -hmm. T O A S T. Okay. Toast. Aunque mejor vamos a usar la palabra roast. Roast. Sí, en vez de la T, la R. Roast. R-O-A-S-T. Okay, I think it's finished. Tengo mis dudas con toast y roast. <laughs> no solo decimos put in the toaster. Okay. Yes, it's a, a good idea. Okay.
Guys, are you ready? Are you kind of ready? Did you finish the sandwich? Let's just give a minute for everybody to come back. Okay, guys, so I think we can have like a one sandwich description and then we listen to the rest. Okay, guys, so tell us a little bit about your sandwich. What do you have? Uh, ¿Quién tiene el sándwich listo? Who has it ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, very good. Tell us, please. Cuéntenos. Tell us about your sandwich. First, take a two slice bread, then add, add mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard. Next, okay. add cucumber, lechuga, mm -hmm. and ham. Finally, those in the kitchen. Okay, very nice. That sounds really good. Thank you. Okay, so you put just some ham. Okay. Next one, guys. Siguiente, who has another one? Me, teacher. Yes, please tell us. Okay, my sandwich is very easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's listen to that. The, the first, uh, take a two slice bread. Mm -hmm. Then, then put mayonnaise at bread. After, put a cucumber and tomato in lettuce. And finally, join the bread. Oh, and okay. Take a, take a Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> so the Coca-Cola was I'm necessary. <laughs> Si no, okay. los vamos a atorar ahí. No. Mira, mira, venado like. A venado like, no. Ya sé Coca-Cola, that's okay. Ok, very nice. I like it, very creative. Nos falta un sandwich, guys. We are missing one. Uh, who wants to present it? Hi. Ok, thank you, Dinora. Please go ahead. And... First, uh, take a piece of bread, then put um, mayonnaise, and after put yellow cheese, a uh, piece of ham, tomato, cucumber, lettuce, and finally to warm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. to warm. Like heat it. Uh, uh huh, hit it. We can say, como que lo caliente, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Like you yeah. can apply some heat. Okay. Yes, hit it, okay. toast it, grill it. Uh huh, yeah, it could work. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice. I like your sandwiches, and yeah, they don't have to be complicated. The idea is that we use all the vocabulary. Very nice job. Sounds really, really good. Okay, guys, now, um, very quick. Vamos, um, eh, oh, because of the time, guys, unfortunately, se nos fue bien rápido, it just went really <laughs> fast. So, les voy a tomar asistencia, eh, si me ayudan con su camarita, please, para el control, um, para que nos quede la grabación también. Just regale mi empresa, and, well, and we are good. Eh, Abigail Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Andrea García. Present, teacher. Gracias. Blanca, Blanca Elizabeth. Creo que vi a Blanca hace un momento. Ok. Georgina. Georgina estaba acá también. Eh, Héctor Pérez. Presente, Oh, hi. Ok. Yes. Got Héctor. Jorge Sánchez. Present to you. And Jorge Narvaez. No, right? I don't see other George. 
Eh, Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Julio Cesar. No, I don't see him. Eh, Kenia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Funes. No había ningún Kevin. Eh, Lady Chicas. Ladies está por acá. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Noé Ramírez. Salvador López. No he visto Salvador. Eh, San Abigail Bonilla. Acabo de ver a Abigail. Ok. Stephanie Michelle. Michelle si está por ahí. Dinora Reyes. Thank you, and Vilma Damaris. Okay, guys, amazing. So thank you so much. Guys, gracias por eh, quedarse. Thank you so much for your time, for staying here. All right. And, um, well, el día de ahora tengo sesión con Salvador, but, okay. Um, mm -mm. So, Abigail, eh, Miss Mendoza, le voy a robar un par de minutitos eh, para la sesión one on one. Guys, los demás estamos dismissed. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Que tengan una excelente noche y un placer conocerlos, guys. Thank a you. A pleasure to meet nice. you. The same. Bye, good guys. Night. Have a good really night. good night. See, see you tomorrow, see you. teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow, if God willing. Bye bye, guys. See you. See you. Bye bye. So Miss Mendoza, there you go. Okay. Hi, Abigail. Hi, teacher. I'm very <laughs> Creo que estaba en mute. <laughs> okay, no worries, no worries, you're fine. So, Miss, gracias por quedarse. Eh, le voy a quitar un par de minutitos para nuestra sesión one on one, right? Um, okay. So, first, Miss, me gustaría saber, I'd like to know, um, okay, so I like to know how, how um, so, usted no es la primera vez, ¿verdad? Que, que no se acompaña, it's not the first time. Yes. It's my. Five? Ah, oh. so you've been here from module one. Uh, oh. No, but amazing. So I saw acá desde el primero. Okay, perfect. Okay. So Abigail, um, ¿qué considera usted? What do you consider uh, you are having difficulties? ¿Qué es lo que le cuesta más for being this module? I, in my case, it's very difficult English. It's my, okay? Quinta vez que trato de aprender inglés. Ah, this is your first time. No, your yes. fifth time. Okay, Abigail, una preguntita. ¿Está con audífonos? Are you with earphones? Sí, me escucha, tiene mucho ruido, vea. No, es que le escucho eh, que su voz, you know, tiene como interferencia. El okay. ruido no, no es tanto problema, sino que uh, okay. no sé voy si a, es el audífono. Voy a desconectarlo, entonces. Okay. Es, es que su voz no se escucha clara, es el, el punto. Ah, ok. ¿Usted se me escucha? ¿Can you hear me? Hola, hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Sí, es que, es que la voz. Um, a ver, la mamá. Voy a desconectar el Bluetooth. Porque con Bluetooth tal vez eso también está interesante. Ah, ok. That can be. ¿Ahora? Ahora me escucha mejor. Uh, sí, muchísimo mejor. Much better. Okay. Estás en el Bluetooth. Sí. 
es porque a veces a, a mi alrededor hay mucho noisy, en, por eso trato de, de poner los audífonos. Perdón, hoy estoy muteada yo. Pero, pero fíjense qué ruido en realidad casi no se escucha acá. Quizás usted lo escucha muy fuerte, pero acá en el micrófono no se escucha tanto. Uh, lo que pasa es que la voz con el auricular, no sé, quizás es por el Bluetooth o porque se le está quedando sin carga. A veces la voz como que se distorsiona. Entonces la escuchaba, pero la escuchaba como... Como si estuviera en un lugar así cerrado, you know, en and, and a lot of things we're going there. Okay. Pero no se escucha ruido, no se preocupe, we cannot hear like a lot of noise. So, okay. me contaba que esta es la quinta vez. This is the, first, the fifth time. Yes. Para mí es oh. más difícil el inglés, es porque no logro que, que las palabras se queden conmigo. Las olvido fácil. Ah, ok. Qué interesante. Entonces, ok. Sí, entonces prácticamente trato de, de, de estudiar mucho, pero no soy buena memorizando. Ok, no, probablemente la técnica que estamos utilizando no nos está funcionando. Entonces nos tendríamos que intentar eh, estudiar de otra forma o memorizar de otra forma para que no sea tan... Eh, traumático, estar memorizando vocabulario once and again. Um, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo considera usted que se, se recuerda más fácil de las palabras? Ok, yo ahorita he tomado otra técnica porque siempre estaba tratando de memorizar. Uh -huh. Ahora mi técnica es estar buscando todas las palabras que no conozco y las estoy anotando acá. En un cuaderno. Sí, estoy sacando como una hoja donde estoy anotando todas las palabras y tratando de Buscarles también el significado de esa forma, tratando de que se me queden al anotar. ¿Cómo le está funcionando? Pues es la tercera vez que lo estoy intentando, o sea, es la tercera vez que estoy haciéndolo, porque antes okay. estaba solo memorizando. Y como veo que no me funciona, entonces uh -huh. estoy iniciando esta otra nueva técnica. Ah, y las primeras dos veces, los primeros dos días, ¿les funcionó? ¿Se recuerdan las que memorizó las primeras dos veces? No mucho. Ok, ok. Normalmente, cuando usted quiere aprender algo, no hablemos de inglés, hablemos de algo más. Okay. Cocina, eh, algo de su trabajo, un manual, un proceso. ¿Cómo se recuerda más fácil de la información? Fíjese que yo soy bastante visual. Yo veo y con eso aprendo. Uh -huh. Pero con el inglés, yo soy la que me he puesto la barrera, creo. Porque soy yo la que es. Siento que es difícil y que no logro entender o que no. O es, es mi tibia, ¿no? Vaya, mi amor, ya, ya te voy a atender. Ya voy a ver la anguila, mi amor. Sí, mi amor, ya voy a ver la anguila. Vaya, escóndete, pues. Escóndete que viene la anguila. Perdón. No, no se preocupe. No worries. I get you totally. Uh, ok. Entonces, este, prácticamente, este, yo aprendo viendo. Okay. Pero con el inglés a mí me cuesta un poquito más. Es por lo mismo que le digo. Tal vez yo me pongo la barrera. Uh -huh. y, y lo otro es de que cada vez que voy a hablar, trato de, estoy pensando en español. Entonces digo, ¿y cómo lo digo? Y empiezo a buscar tantas palabras y es cuando yo ya no lo logro decir las uh -huh. cosas. No, pero, pero eso es normal. Nosotros tendemos siempre a ir a nuestro segundo, a nuestro primer idioma como referencia. Pero lo, lo que quizás lo que podemos abordar ahorita, porque eso de ir al español no se le va a quitar. Lo único que con la práctica, mientras usted vaya avanzando, va a recurrir menos porque ya tiene más vocabulario. Ya no lo va a tener que pensar en español. Pero eh, lo que podemos abordar ahorita es eso, el hecho de memorizarse eh, palabras. Um, ¿Ha probado alguna vez con diccionarios? Diccionarios eh, de, de figuras. No. Vale. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Dictionary. Eh, y yo al ver que mis compañeros hablan mucho y dicen mucho, yo me frustro. Uh -huh. Digo, oh, yo quiero voy a empezar a hacer eso también. Ah, uh, but no worries, no worries. Eh, recuérdese que todos aprendemos de forma diferente. Entonces, puede que le tome un poquito de tiempo, pero lento, pero seguro, mis. A su tiempo va a encontrar su ritmo y va a encontrar también la forma como aprender. Creo que ahorita lo que le está quizás eh, 
eh, lo está dependiendo de avanzar, probable, es eso, el hecho que no recuerde las palabras, el hecho que se le olvide muy rápido. Fíjese que por alguna razón yo no me puedo agregar al grupo. No sé si mi link está mal o what is going on. Um, ok, hágame un favor, let's do something, porque no, no voy a poder enviárselo. Vamos, vamos a probar esto, probemos esto, si le funciona. Es memorizar, pero memorizar, vamos a utilizar lo que se dice, que a memorizar viendo, aprende viendo. Probemos con diccionarios eh, visuales. Uh, de, ok, denme un segundo. Le voy a compartir acá un, un, un ejercicio. Um, okay. eh, para que usted entre, para que usted lo vea. And, Vamos a ir, vamos a probar, right? Primero revise esto, eh, léalo, véalo, intente identificar qué son. Ok, y para mañana, tómele dos minutitos, tres minutitos solo para verlo, intentar recordarlo. Me confirma si lo puede abrir. Okay. Y por el día de mañana, usted me dice, de estos, de todos los 12 que están acá, ¿Qué tanto usted recuerda? Si nos funciona de esta forma, tener la figura, tener la palabra y recordarse, entonces vamos a ir a esta técnica de, de diccionarios visuales. Okay. Porque es mucho más fácil. Al mí yo aprendo mucho viendo. Entonces a mí me funcionan mucho los dibujitos, you know? Dic dic uh, diccionarios visuales, porque yo tengo la palabra, mi mente intenta recordarse cuál era la figurita, And automatically it goes there. Si no nos funciona el diccionario, si no logramos recordar, si es que memorizar no significa que usted va a estar una hora en esto. Eh, memorizar tiene que ser cinco minutos, pero todos los días, progresivamente, cinco minutos, cinco minutos, cinco minutos. Entonces, probemos esto primero. Eh, si tiene un par de minutitos ahorita, cinco minutos lo más. Practíquelo, revise la pronunciación, qué significa, what is the word. Y mañana intenta recordar qué es lo que estaba en esta figura, right? Que estaba en este ejercicio. Si nos funciona, le damos solo con diccionarios visuales. A memorizar this way, right? A hacer dibujitos, a dibujar y a recordarlo. Si no nos funciona, entonces usted me comenta y vemos qué más podemos hacer para que no sea tan complicado, porque el inglés no es. Esa es la experiencia que queremos, right? Que inglés es difícil, que inglés no se me queda. No, porque no, no se trata uh, que, que memorizar las palabras sean difíciles, sino buscar qué me funciona para que se vuelva algo fácil. Um, so, son quizás como unas 20 frutas, I think, 2, 4, 5. Creería que son 20. I think it's 20. Que nos recordemos 10 para mañana sin haberlas memorizado tanto, sin haberles metido una hora. <ríe> ok, ya sería ganancia. That. So that would be just amazing, all right. And me confirma mañana. So you let me know tomorrow if it works, ok? Ok. Probemos esto. Let's work on this tomorrow. Cinco minutitos ahorita, practíquelas, revíselas como se escribían, qué era sobre todo, qué significan. Y mañana me dice si le funcionó. Si recuerda al menos 10 de ellos, right? Sin, sin tanto esfuerzo, sin una hora, sin dos horas de práctica, all right? Okay. So let's do that tomorrow. Okay, Luis, gracias por su tiempo. Ya creo que le estoy robando <risa> más. <risa> Vamos a intentarlo. Recuérdeme, dar, eh, recuérdeme darme el, el feedback el día de mañana. Eh, yeah. Para ver, de esa manera le puedo enviar todos los días, you know, algo diferente, preguntarle las anteriores, preguntarle las siguientes e ir intentando recordar un vocabulario de forma diferente, right? Okay. Gracias. So let's give it a try, Miss. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Abigail. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.